Welcome to another weekly market update. Sunday the um, 24th of September after the market closed on Friday the 22nd. So here's where we look at the stock market each week, both for the long-term trend as well as the short-term trend. Long-term trend affects everybody because more often than not, all your investment plans and pension funds, you name it, wrapped up in the stock market. So everyone is interested in the stock market if they care about money at all. For shorter term, that's more for traders. We want to be aligned with the short term trend. Well, most of all, with the big, the long term trend, we want to be, uh, we want to have a clue about when that's going to do another two thousand eight on us. And here's where we uh, we do that. But right now, it's the furthest thing from it. Uh, we have, uh, as I said last week, it's uh, very much still uh, a bull market. It's a very healthy, aggressive one that started last November, and that my system that I teach uh, at the seminar. Uh, predicted last last sort of November really and uh, got you in and you'd be up using that system you'd be up 75% uh, just by buying plain stocks nothing fancy like options or spread betting so um, and the picture remains the same it's it's it, it had a bit of a wobble it looked like it was going to go down it defied us and just you know kept on going to new highs more and more so bull market Let's tune into the daily charts, see if we can find a bit more detail here. So we look day to day instead of month, years of action. This is, as you can see here, the last six months. And each of these little daily blips is one day of action. <clears throat> and this is the averages here, the average price, 50 day, av 50 day average, 200 day average. It's kind of smooth things out for us. Um, as I said last week, it was bullish as ever because you see this huge buying volume spike here. Really very uh, aggressive. We had a spate of uh, new highs ever since, um, which is uh, why I pointed that out. It was definitely not a bearish sign, and it's looking uh, healthy as ever. Um, so, um, for the short-term trend, you know, it's up. It has been going up. Um, I just want to play around here something. You can, on these charts here, if you go down to overlays, I haven't shown you this before. It's going to be too much on the chart. But if you click on Bollinger, Bollinger Bands down there, see that down there with your moving averages on, you go update. This is just a fun thing you can mess around with. It's not like, you know, it's not a, a given about what's going to happen next. But this kind of, these green lines, are kind of trying to identify a channel of action in this trend. And when it gets too far over the line, perhaps, or close to the line, you know, it doesn't last that long before it turns. Having said that, as you can see here, it can ride the line for a long period of time, you know, before it turns around. So this isn't, this isn't like a shorting signal or a buying signal or anything like that. But you can see, you know, it's 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 when it's it gets too low and it corrects, it gets out of the out of the bands and comes back. You know, you can see that out of the band, come back, out of the band, come back. Anytime you see those extremities, uh, and here again, you see it doesn't. It's not long before out of the band corrects, out of the band corrects. So <clears throat> I say it's not really precise, but um, can be some very useful indicators. What you've been seeing here is, you know, it has been. Um, uh, really clinging to that band and you know roll, turning around a bit there but it's not to say it just can't can't keep going up um so uh all uh, all is bullish on both counts um the note of caution i always like to add is it's quite bizarre um, and i'm sure getting on for record breaking that we haven't even had a healthy correction healthy correction meaning that it maybe like gets close to or bounces off of this this blue line here, the 40 week. That's abnormal, and it's getting to be extremely unhealthy. It's getting on for a year now, where you haven't even had a had a healthy adjustment. Um, <clears throat> on top of which, you know, valuations are you know absolute sky high. Uh, but we don't get in the way of that trend uh, at all. I'm just saying that um, you know there needs to at least be a correction. But for now, though, it's not giving us any indication that that's imminent. Uh, and I will speak to you next week.